Hey, what's up guys? So we've got another five pounds in pennies to go through. So I hope everyone is doing good and finding all them lovely 2018 50Ps that's been put out. It's actually really cool. I've had a few people come to me now at work and ask me if I know what this coin is and that coin and I'm starting to see some in my area mostly well, I'm not even gonna say which ones because in case I let something slip with what we've got recently so this first bag we're just gonna finish sliding them all around and then we're gonna start throwing them into the hand and be as quick as we can. So yeah, hope everyone is good. <laughs> Just going through, picking out all the tail sides first, as many as I can, that way then. All we have to do is flip, flip, like that. And basically, in this one, if you're new to the channel and you're thinking, what is this guy doing with these pennies? Basically, looking for anything that shouldn't be in there. There's no key dates, except this 1972, which we don't look for. That was only put into coin year sets and not into circulation. And besides that, there is nothing. So all we're looking for is basically anything from um, places where it, it sh we shouldn't really have them in here. So like, you know, like Jersey, Gibraltar, Isle of Man. And sometimes you'll get a US penny in here. And just things like that. And it's just to have a check. Just a little snoop around just to see what there is. Ah, there's an example. So that is, if I remember right, it is a, it says it on the front, Richie, it's a jersey. And that's a 2003. So that's a nice little find. So that's what we're looking for. And it's nice in the second bag of the video to find one. So that means we probably won't find anything else now in the entire video because it seems that's how it works with uh, pennies. You get one find and that's it. And then they start to be mean to you. And I think they're just pulling out the ones that's got the towels slide up. I'm going to flip these ones. If the camera's moving, sorry it's my head touching my new, or well, it's not new. I put like um, a little, not a vice, what would you call it? It's like a clip. It's basically a bigger version of this that I'm using as a handle. So if I need to move the camera up and down, like this, I can just do that. All right, next bag, spread them out. And then again, we're just gonna pick off all the tail sides. Any of them that you can see has a tail side sticking up. And that way, it's easier to spread out in the gap I have. So, so far, can't see nothing in this bag. But I'm not expecting anything now because we had a find. We had that jersey, didn't we? So that's how pennies are. They're quite mean. You have a nice little find and then you won't get anything else for the rest of the five pounds. <laughs> I think that's all. Oh, there's a few in the middle there. There's another one there, there, and there. 
So now I'm just going to turn them from on that side there. Because obviously you want to turn them because the Isle of Man and the other territories obviously have the Queen on the front. And yes, I said the front because the Queen side is the front side. Before anyone says, but it's not, it is. Right, two more bags to go. Oh, can you see it? We got a sneaky one. These are quite common to find in pennies. They are a 10 banny from Romania. So if you look at the sizing, they are pretty spot on. Maybe a little bit wider. But they do tend to sneak in. You get one every now and again. So they're cool. I think I've got quite a few that I found in penny searches in the last, I don't know how long I've been doing them. So that's one that's just going to be thrown into my international box. Spread them out. I'm going to start here and make my way across. Like so. In each video, out of this 20 pounds, we've found one of them. So I know that all these coins have come from the same, probably the same sorting machine. Wonder if it's a coin star. Did you for us? I don't know. Who? I don't even know. I think this was Loomis. Does Loomis sort out the coin star? I don't even know. Nope. Right. And keep going. We've got a find in this bag, so this bag will probably not have another find in it. Let's just pull out the towel side ones to be a bit quicker. There we go. Let me just flip and keep flipping. And that's it. There's nothing in that bag. And we've got our last, very last bag here. And there we go. Let's just spread it around. Is there anything silver or anything obvious looking up at us? Nope. So here we go. So I'm just going to pick off all the tails. I see. Very quickly we go through them from this side. Don't think there will be anything. Whoa, that's that's been worn down. That's had a hard life that one. It's like it literally doesn't have its rim left. It's been chipped there as well. Hmm. Right, that one's had a hard, hard life. That was a new pence. Can you imagine how long that's been floating around like that? That would be mental if it's been around like that since, if it was from the 80s and it's been through so many if you could think about the new pence if they could talk if that queen's mouth could move and tell you what what type of person has been carrying it around it'd be amazing amazing stories right and these are the last in the video Two, three more. So we had two finds in this video, and that's going through five, twenty pounds worth of pennies. So you can work it out. So we got this little banny, ten banny here. That's going to be thrown into my international, and we got this little jersey. So not bad, not brilliant. 
still haven't found a St. Helena. That's the one I'm after. Right, so if you've made it this far, guys, I appreciate it. And thank you very, very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. So take care, guys, and happy coin hunting. Goodbye.